Nuns Bridge on this beautiful evening. Just sit sitting and having a cold one with you. It's absolutely gorgeous and lovely and stuff. Got a bottle of Papa John. I've got one left after this. <laughs> I like to have a, just one now and again. No, no, I'm driving tomorrow, so I'll only be the one today. But um, St. Ansel's proper job. And if you drink enough of them, it'll do the proper job, trust me. Chalky, I hope you're cracking a cold one out, mate. Love you to bits, boy. Crack a beer with me. Now you join me and Richard on this beautiful evening. And it is a beautiful evening by the way. And Richard's going to sum up the five day trip that we've had out at... Uh, I'll be out, it's easy. It's bloody hot. <laughs> he don't mean it, he don't mean it. He loves it really. He said it's I not... Don't. He said it's not quite warm enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, but apart from that, Scruffy's down there having a cool off. Uh, she's been out here most of the day, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah, she's been, she's been lovely, mate, hasn't she? Yeah. And, uh, but had a occasional dog going by. Yeah, she hasn't been barking much. She's been all right, hasn't she? She's been all right. But uh, we're going to sum this trip up. The last five days have been absolutely beautiful. This man has shown me places took me down lanes that you'd never take anybody down not even on a bleeding motorbike or, or scrambler well none of it was feared to your head <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, we'll start off with a with the uh, first one what was that what was that it was something the drove wasn't it the forest oh yeah yes yeah. what if you had a walking on and you got lost yes for an hour and a half i wasn't the start there was that Jump before them. Is what you know. Before them, we was at the Warren. Warren, which is where I've been before. Yeah, well, that was my second time at the Warren. I'd only been oh, there. Oh, yeah, second time. Oh, yeah. well. I've got a little bit, a bit too work video before over there. It got very, very busy. It was almost embarrassing when we woke up. Yeah. How many camera vans were there? Yeah, yeah. Like it was, was a bit of a Saturday night, Sunday morning. Yeah, it was a bit of a squeeze in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably what, 15 parking spaces, you know, 20 cars, and six camera vans all crammed together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it had been this hot, we'd have all welded to each other. I would, yeah. We wouldn't have been able to bleed and move. But uh, what a lovely area. The forest was beautiful, but you can get lost in there very quickly. The, the, the size of it is bleeding immense. Yeah. Um, that's, at, that's at the Warren, but then we went to the drove. There's a. Oh, it's a drove. That was absolutely gorgeous. All sand. And yeah, the, the floor, everywhere. It was some, but it wasn't deep some, was it? No, no, it's it well compacted, wasn't it? So yeah, well compacted. And perfect for the dog, yeah. nice and soft in the paws. Yeah, that was absolutely lovely to drive. And um, got a bit of shade as well, for the trees. Yeah. And not, not at midday, but even in the day got a bit of shade. It was absolutely gorgeous over there. And, uh, quiet? Again, yes. <laughs> okay, now it was quiet, and I don't mean quiet. We didn't see a car the next day at all, did we? Did we? No, no. Next day, I wasn't woke up. It was empty, wasn't it? Place On Monday morning. Yeah, place was Yeah, it was completely empty. Yeah. No one about whatsoever. Apart from that bloke laying on the side that you saw and nearly run over. Yeah. Couldn't work out what he was doing. No. He was like lying in some long grass for sort of road as we were coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we don't know what he was doing, but he was most probably sunbathing. I think I'd seen him earlier. Picking up rubbish, but yeah, he must have, he must have stopped off for a kit. And then we moved on to uh, uh, 
the little little ooze. The little ooze. That's an amazing place that is. Again, very quiet. Once the kids gone home. Yeah. Which are all gone by seven o'clock. I think that's just a couple of adults about that's about it, they were quiet. I think they'll clear up about five, half past five and then the next lot come in about six. Yeah, yeah, we've got a second shift. Yeah, yeah. Two shifts. But plenty of um what are they boards, set boards. It's yeah, lots of the sort of banner boards. Yeah. Mm. But it was uh, that was lovely, yeah, a little dip. Scruffy come in in the water with me, she that's loved right. it. Yeah. She did a bit. splash of water over. Yeah. She had a little bit of an haircut, yeah. which oh, she loved that. Not. <laughs> she hates having a haircut. And then we ended up back at Nun's Bridge, just for a bit of shade. <laughs> Scruffy's nicked the camera. Anyway, you got a couple of old codgers. Sitting in the sun, but I'll sit trying to find a bit of shade. I've got a sweat. Yeah, like last of the summer wine. Talking rubbish. Talking absolute crap. But it keeps us occupied, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, back in the mills, where, all, where we always start from, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We always start a journey from there. Is that always our first stop, the same place? I suppose we join us here. The cameras were just behind us. Yeah. You need to walk, wake up in the morning, open the curtain, and there's a river right behind you. And it's absolutely beautiful. There's no fishing in there, it's about three inches deep at the minute. Yeah. But you do see a little fish in there, but no, nothing that will take off, too small to take off. But you never know, come winter time, it will, um, it might pick up a bit in there, it might get a bit deep. Well, it does, don't it? It does, uh, as well. Yeah. When the snow melts. What's now? We was gonna uh, gonna have to do a bit of fishing yesterday, but we didn't even get round to that. It was too bleeding hot. Yeah, we couldn't sit out there. But I thought it was gonna be difficult for us to sleep last night. But two o'clock in the morning, mate, I was awake. Froze cold. Froze, freezing, bleeding cold. Then I'm sitting where you think it's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, I had to get out, put an extra cover on. And then all I've got was the smell of bleeding onions. It's like that sketch with uh, Del Boy and, well... Oh, yeah. What's his name? Grandad and Rodney. Yeah, no, the, the one who he put... He swapped his grill cream for oh, some... Oh, yes. For some... Uh, yes, uh, yeah, Boise. Boise, yeah. The onion smell was like that of Boise's. I had to get up at four o'clock to spray the bleeding wagon and shut all the windows up because... The smell it was of a field immediately behind us. Yeah, it took all the unions up, they were just sitting on the top. Yeah. Then um, about 10 o'clock this morning, he came and so, swept, swept them all up into a big, big, big lobby. Yeah, are they going to have these things after what it would have been? You know, they've got a machine. I don't know how they did it before. Well, they must have unpicked them. Normally, they, like the fence, they tie them, don't they? They tie them in bunches, they use a cut them like in no, bunches. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was smelly to say the least. It, it was just oniony. A lot of voices air after Del Boy had been in his special pot. But it was lovely. But have you had a good trip? You had a good five days. Well, a very good five days. Yeah, you're, you're off on your way back to the van tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to King's Inn. So he's going to continue his journey. But not for long, because he's got to go back as well. We ain't telling you that bit, but he's got to go back at all. Uh, MOT time. Yeah. I'm paying. Yeah. I went to some new plate lights at the back door. So I'm hopefully there'll be a you know, post next few days. But the uh, the, the kids, um, they've got ropes hanging from trees and they're sliding down. And <laughs> as you'll have seen on the last video, it's. Um, big splashes. Yeah. yeah. And it's lovely. They really enjoy themselves. It's it? lovely to see the people out. Do you know, you see more foreign people um, while we're out on our travels enjoying our nature and yeah. enjoying these places and keeping them clean yes. than what we do English people. Yeah, it's strange that, isn't it? It is It is strange. I think it's because their countries, they, they're more used to living outdoors, aren't they? Well, there's uh, 
I think it's a wedding reception. Probably wasn't there. Yeah. At the bottom. Because um, I kept driving in the left hand drive garage. They all got dressed in the car, didn't they? Yeah. The girls all have a similar style dress. Not yeah. from neck to ankle. To, to, to ankle. The blokes had smart suits on. Yeah. Uh, they all disappeared for a couple of hours. Yeah. And came back a few more hours and they go and do it as well. Yeah, and they, all, they just go into the woods and uh, I don't know what they do in the woods all dressed up. But. <laughs> they obviously do one in the woods. Yeah. Unofficial, of course. <coughs> but yeah, they seem, to, address. they seem to enjoy the countryside more than the English folk do. You don't see a lot of English people out there doing it. And it just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this five minutes with a couple of old boomers. And uh, yeah. Pop over and have a look at Richard, Richard's channel. He ain't, well, he's uploaded one the other day, so if you ain't seen that, go and have a look. That's the first one in how long? Ages. Nobody. I hope you want to say it. Sammy. Hello, Sammy. Hello, Sammy and Daisy. Look. That's outside, look. <laughs> and Rue, of course. And Rue. And this is Rue. Yeah, but we've had a fantastic few days, mate. We've had a fantastic few days. And that's all you're getting.